Welcome back, my friends. Good evening to you. I'm Paul Sikala, and let's get right into it. The NBA Finals, Game 7 between the Spurs and the Heat, and oh, it does not get any better than this, folks. It was a showdown that you saw right here on ABC7 with coverage ending less than a half an hour ago. San Antonio was gunning for its fifth championship in the last 15 years, while the Heat were hoping to take home back-to-back -back titles. And this game would be close throughout. Early on, LeBron James was heating up straight caliente. He'd can not one, not two, not three, not four, but five three-pointers. James would have 28 points within the first three quarters, and the lead would go back and forth. But as the third quarter winds down, Manu Ginobili puts the Spurs up by two. Still, Mario Chalmers pushes it up at the buzzer and sup, sup, sup. Luck? Nah, he can't bank, my man. Miami would lead 71-69 heading into the fourth quarter. Now under five minutes to go, Spurs trail by five. Manu Ginobili for the trifecta. You betcha. Spurs cut the lead to 85-82. Then Miami goes up again by six, but Duncan is playing Mr. Clutch. And the foul. Come on. The deficit is cut to 88-85 with around three minutes left. Now to the last 45 seconds, down by two. Tim Duncan misses the chance to tie point blank. Check it out again. And then with 30 seconds left, LeBron James is making it happen, Captain. The Heat lead 92-88. And after that, Manu Ginobili turns it over. That all but seals things up for the Heat, folks. Miami wins 85, or rather 95. 88, the Heat of the World Champions back-to-back -back years. LeBron James is your finals MVP with a message for all the haters. For me, I can't worry about what everybody say about me. I'm LeBron James from Akron, Ohio, from the inner city. I'm not even supposed to be here. That's enough. Every night I walk into the in the locker room, I see a number six with James on the back. I'm blessed. So what everybody say about me off the court, don't matter. I ain't got no worries. No worries, my friend, because you have another NBA title. All right, back here along the border, UTEP has named its new softball coach. Tobin Echohawk, formerly of Portland State, will be introduced officially tomorrow. Echohawk has led Portland State to four conference titles in the last five years. And quickly, the Mountain Star Sports Group has revealed the top five finalist name ideas of El Paso's AAA baseball team. And it won't be the Padres, like the parent club, or even the traditional Diablos. Here are the finalists selected after suggestions from the public, the Aardvarks, the Buckaroos, the Chihuahuas, the Desert Gators, and the Sundogs. El Paso has submitted more than 5,600 name ideas. You can still log on to ElPasoAAA.com and make your vote among the finalists. Hey, I'm not a fan of any of those names, but out of the five options remaining, my vote, the Chihuahuas. Not only in tribute to man's best friend, but also a name that ties us to our border neighbors, Chihuahua, Mexico, and of course, the desert we all call home, the Chihuahuan Desert. Meanwhile, we continue introducing you to Coach Tim Floyd's incoming players from his 2013 recruiting class in El Paso. Meet UTEP's next point guard, Josh Brown. For more on him, just go to kvia.com. That's it for now. I'm Paul Sikala for ABC7 Sports. Have a good night.